What's up, poker players? Hope you guys are out there crushing it on the tables. Today, we're going to take a look at this almost 5,900 hand session where we won $765 at a 10.84 big blind per 100 win rate. Very solid session, but look at all that right up ahead. That is that big downswing that we experienced in December right in that region there or right there. But let's take a look at this upswing right before we hit that crash. Let's jump right into the hands. First hand we're going to take a look at is at the 50 cent dollar table, 100 NL. We have pocket queens playing from middle position. Folds us and we open to $3, 3x. We get a call from the cutoff player who seems to be recreational. Flop is rainbow eight high we have the queens over the board and with recreational players there's no reason to conceal your hand they're not that great at hand reading a lot of times they're only going to see the value of their own cards so i think we can continuation bet in this spot and put in a large bet make it 475 to go three two-thirds pot and we do get a call turn is the deuce of hearts not improving too many hands we continue firing make it two-thirds pot once again and we get a raise this time that's an interesting bet but we can see that when turn raising our opponent has won zero percent of showdowns a great number to look at when deciding what to do with our hand in this spot so i do make the call here i'm not opposed to a jam in this spot either and i think we will be in the lead with two pair in this spot a lot of the time and we're probably going to get called by hands exactly like what our opponent has but there is our money card the queen Queen of hearts on the river we have the full house queens over deuces and a couple of the draws got there as well the flush draw got there the straight draw missed but the straight draw is probably the only hand that is going to be folding to a bet here on the river so we put the rest of our chips in and we do get a call from the flush and we take down this pot of over 194 dollars and now we are at the 200 nl table we have ace queen offsuit playing from the button folds around us and we open to 3x six dollars pretty standard and we get a three bet from the small blind who we have a very small sample size on only 10 hands but pretty recreational numbers over that 10 hands and because we do not have a lot of hands on this player we can assume that they don't play that often and i like playing in position against this type of player with a strong hand like ace queen if we put in a four bet here we are going to be in a lot of tough spots when we get five bet jammed so i elect to just make a call here and see a flop flop is ace high rainbow we flop top pair queen kicker not a bad hand there's 38 dollars in the pot right now our opponent leads out for about two-thirds pot and we make a call here this is actually kind of a tough flop for us ace jack now took the lead ace king was beating us the whole way so a lot of the hands with ace on another broadway are now beating us but how wide is our opponent's three bet range in this spot would he be doing it with any two broadways would he continue bet with any two broadways tough spot but we're going to see a turn which is the deuce of diamonds not improving too many hands and our opponent checks at this point I figure we are most likely in the lead since our opponent slowed down. They could have been betting a big draw on the flop, but we check back trying to induce a bluff from an opponent who has bet 100% of rivers so far. The eight of diamonds makes a straight for a queen 10, but that's really about it. And would our opponent be three betting queen 10 pre-flop? Probably not. So when our opponent comes out and fires 55-41 on the river, we can pretty easily make a call here and be in the lead most of the time which is what we do and we take down this pot of $194 and still at the 200 NL table we have pocket sixes playing from the big blind under the gun opens to six dollars small blind calls and we also call see a flop of king high rainbow we hit middle set small blind leads out for eight dollars and we just make a call here not to give away the value of our hand quite yet on a very dry board the four of spades comes on the turn giving us the full house there is $42 in the pot and we have a big stack behind us let's try to continue to get Filmo to stay in this hand and try to extract as much value out of our full house as possible 
possible. Small blind bets $18 into us, and we make a call here. Again, not raising quite yet because we want to keep Filmo in this hand, and there's really not many hands that we are going to be losing to in this spot or could improve to the best hand. If we raise here, we're only going to get rid of hands that we absolutely dominate and want to keep in the hand. But we do get a fold from Filmo, and we see a river, which is the nine of spades. This time, the small blind checks to us. After showing that they like their hand and we're pretty much betting for value on the flop and turn, we can assume that our opponent will pretty much call off anything since they are pot committed in this hand. So we jam the rest of our chips in and we do get a call from a pair of kings and we take down this pot of $195 with the full house. This time we have pocket queens playing at the 100 NL table under the gun plus one. We open to 3x. We get a call from the button and we see a heads up flop which is 10 high two tone. Two clubs out there. We have the backdoor club draw. We have backdoor straight draws and we have the queens over the board. Elect to just check on this flop and let our opponent who has high bet tendencies and high post flop aggression put in some chips. Little did I know that our opponent had a very big hand but I do make a call for the half pot size bet and there is our money card the queen of hearts giving us the top set and not improving many other hands that could be out there. I elect to just check once again and this time our opponent bets almost pot and we put in a raise. Don't want to let a lot of the draws that could be out there get there for cheap. This is a very draw heavy board right now. They get the rest of their chips in. We can pretty much assume that they either have a huge draw or they hit a set on a flop which we took the lead on the turn. Get the rest of our chips in is set over set. We got a cooler there. We got lucky with that queen on the turn but we take down this $224 pot. This one looks like it's going to be interesting. We have five three offsuit playing from the big blind under the gun just limps and it folds all the way around so we see a heads up flop only five dollars in the pot right now and that is a pretty good flop for our hand we have bottom two pair check the flop our opponent bets half pot and we are putting in a raise here on the low board and opponent who hasn't folded to a flop three bet yet and we get a call our opponent most likely has a hand like this with suited connectors or slow played a pair over the board pre-flop not a hand you really want to be limping with but we really can't rule that out of their range quite yet there is also the chance that they flopped a set of eights jack of clubs comes on the turn there's 28 seconds in the pot and we bet two-thirds pot don't want to let any of the draws get there for cheap again and our opponent makes a call the five of diamonds on the river gives us the boat none of the draws got there our opponent hasn't folded to a single river bet yet and has also bet 100% of rivers so this is a tough spot do we try to bluff induce by checking or do we bet into this player I decided to bet into this player and hopefully get called by a pair and our opponent raises us makes it hundred and forty dollars if we decide to jam right here we're probably only going to get called by hands that beat us pocket eights pocket jacks for a higher full house maybe even a five eights against a recreational player our value hand has pretty much turned into showdown value but against a recreational player who wins zero percent of river raises I think this is a pretty easy call so I do make the call here and we do take down this pot of three hundred and forty two two dollars with a full house against a seven high all right we get a little heads up action at the 200 nl table we have a six suited playing for the big blind small blind opens to 2.5 x and we make a call see a flop here flop is ace high two tone we flop top two pair elect to just check to the button in this spot and they continuation bet for two-thirds pot i could see some big draws being out there and some big aces out there as well and we should be trying to extract value from those hands against a recreational player who hasn't played very much heads up and we do get a call of our raise the turn is the 10 of spades the only hand that really improved with the 10 would be the exact hand that our opponent has besides that we are pretty good still with two pair in this spot so i bet two thirds pot and our opponent jams all in this is a tough one to make a fold we beat pretty much all the aces out there we are ahead of all the draws that could be out there so I do make the call and we see that our opponent got there on the turn and took the lead from us but boom there is a six on the river and we take down this $400 pot with a full house on a two outer once in a while we get lucky
Kind of like that 10 on the turn was lucky. That was a roller coaster. 83.69% favorite on the flop, down to a 4.55% underdog on the turn, and back in the lead with the two outer on the river. That was awesome. The last hand and biggest hand of the session comes with this one. We have Pocket Kings under the gun plus one at the 200 NL table, and we open to 3x, and we get a three bet from the player directly to our left under the gun plus two. It is a min three bet makes it ten dollars to go we get a call from the button and from the big blind as well and it looks like we are pretty much against all recreational players biggest sample size is 101 hands we can pretty much play our hands straight up in the spot and be putting in a four bet which is what i do i make it 42 dollars to go i like that bet sizing it's gonna charge a lot of these players to see a flop and pot commit them when they do make a call here which we are most likely in the lead with right now we get a call from the pre-flop three better and there is $105 in the pot when we see a flop of queen high two tone two spades out there we have the backdoor spade draw as well as a backdoor straight draw and the kings over the board there's only a couple hands that got there being pocket queens or pocket nines that could be in our opponent's range I check to try to induce some bluffs in this spot planning to get it all in when we do get a bet and I jam they make a call and and I unfortunately see that our opponent was playing pocket nines in this spot. And we are now a huge underdog. Only 14% to win this hand now. Jack on the turn gives us a couple more outs with a 10. But the deuce doesn't win it for us. And we lose this $421 pot. That was a pretty shitty flop. And an interesting call with the pocket nines pre-flop. But you win the hand. We'll get you next time. Thanks for watching poker players. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not done that yet turn on your notifications head down to the video description for links to all the poker products that i use including america's card room where i do all of my poker playing hold a manager which i use to review my poker sessions and get on table stats give this video a thumbs up if you learned something today or you enjoy the content i'm putting out there if you have any comments or questions leave those down below and i will be back soon with a new video but until then i'll see you guys out on the virtual felt